Almost 3 in 10 adult men aged 18 have experienced anxiety about body image issues. These thoughts can potentially cause bigger rexia or muscle dysmorphia. Why do you start working out? Um, mainly because a lot of my friends got into it and the gym and things, so I started and also I wanted to get bigger. Bigorexia, or otherwise known as the opposite to anorexia, is a mental disorder where the person's body is perceived to be not lean or muscular enough. Do you think girls have preferences when it comes to choosing males for particular body types? Yes, I think um, a lot of there's a lot of stigma around having a smaller boyfriend. For females, we choose on a majority basis to have a bigger boyfriend and especially over social media you definitely see it idolised to have a bigger stronger boyfriend. I think it's because um, over like the last decade or something it's definitely become more prevalent that um, men with bigger muscles who are taller um, are what women want because it's viewed as more masculine, more manly. I think there's a, a definitely a stigma around having a smaller boyfriend as a bigger female because of the comparison made between the two. Hegemonic masculinity is the idolisation of traditional masculine cultural traits extended to the physicality such as being bigger, more muscular and or lean leading to the body image concerned which are increasingly common in young men. This is partially as a result of social media where you see men who have had the perfect photo taken of downlighting who are most likely have particular genetics or use steroids. This gives an unrealistic view for men to live up to. Do you think there's social pressure for a man to look big? Uh, yeah, I'd say a lot because of YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. Like, there's a lot of people that do things unnaturally and then obviously you just want to get that but you can't without taking stuff. These distorted views can cause preoccupation with becoming overly muscular and or lean, often leading to dangerous habits such as excessive weight training, restrictive dieting, the use of substances such as anabolic steroids, all of which can lead to anxiety and depression. Have you ever been insecure about your body? I'd say I did probably used to be, but less so now. I've started going. Yeah, just seeing progress helps. Do you think there's societal pressure to look fit and healthy? Yes, I think there's a different pressure for men and for females. I think for men, it's definitely to be bigger, bulkier, have more muscles. And you definitely see that on social media. Um, but I think for females, over time, it's definitely changed quite a bit. I think most w women would see that a leaner, more athletic, toned body type is the healthiest. But I do think that um, in the past few years, there's been a lot more growth in terms of... Um, promoting healthier body styles as the weight that you're naturally meant to be instead of pushing your body to extremes to be something that it's not but I don't see the same um, I don't see the same like help for men to see that for themselves I think that's mainly just been something that's been pushed for women how do you think or feel the amount of support available for both men and women surrounding issues of BDD I think BDD is definitely more aware for women. I think as society, when you think of BDD, you think of only women having it and you not, don't really acknowledge that it can be a male issue as well because I think for when you think, when you're trying to identify people who have BDD, you tend to think of people with anorexia or bulimia and they tend to be or binge eating, and they tend to be disorders mainly associated with women. Um, and I think because of the 
health implications that they have, they're quite drastic implications. You, there's a lot more help with trying to fix it more quickly and identify it more quickly because of the damaging impacts that it can have. But I think for men, there's less of that because men, and especially teenage boys, they tend to develop muscle dysmorphia, uh, which isn't as widely recognised because it's seen as just trying to become fit and healthy, which isn't seen as damaging in any way. And I think that there's more availability for women to speak up and get help and raise awareness for their disorders or their feelings towards their body. So there's the I Weigh movement which was created and that's for women. And there's a lot more platforms for women and there's been a lot more movement for female dysmorphia, like body dysmorphias. Whereas I think men are more self-conscious to speak up about those sort of issues that they have uh, I think mainly because they're mental health issues and they're not things that males tend to speak about so I think as a society there's more available to women in terms of help and I also think there's more in terms of being able to identify those who need help for women and there's definitely less for men.